What's up everybody, Cliff Ravenscraft here and another reflection from the home gym. I think this might be my third one that I've recorded here on Sunday, August 19th, 2018. And I just finished up, I think it was module three of the Jim Rohn uh, Success Academy materials that I'm studying. I purchased this thing, it's called Foundations for Success at successacademy.com. Anyway, um, yesterday, anyway, in the previous vlog, I talked about making a list of all the things you want out of life. Just make a long list of all those things. And I talked about the fact that so many people are afraid to make that list because, well, they're afraid that it's selfish, that it's, it's, you, all of those things that just go back and watch yesterday's vlog or the vlog before this one and you'll hear everything I had to say. Now, there is a principle that Jim Rohn talks about and I think it's um, worthy of consideration. Beware of what you become. Actually, let me look it up word for word because I've been taking screen captures of, of uh, all the notes that they throw up on the screen here. He said, beware of what you become in pursuit of what you want. Now, in yesterday's vlog, I talked about the fact that for us to achieve the things that we want, we will have to take different actions. We will have to, in many cases, change our belief systems about who we are, what we can achieve, what is right, um, beliefs about just what's available to us, what we could or should do. We have to change some beliefs. And it is worth throwing some caution into there to say, be care of, beware of what you become in pursuit of what you want. There is the potential of achieving practically anything you desire. But it goes back to that thing that I shared yesterday. You have to know why you want it. What purpose will it serve? And the question is, is that worth the cost of attaining whatever it is that you want? Jim said there were several goals that he wrote on his list when he was 25 years old. And in the pursuit of those things that he achieved, he realized far too late that the cost of achieving those things was not worth it. And oftentimes you discover that after the fact. And I have had that in my own journey early on. Now, the interesting thing is this phrase of be where I would actually say be aware of who you are becoming in the pursuit of what you want. So I'm actually on the fly right now kind of reframing this. Not be aware of what you become, but be aware of who you are becoming in the pursuit of what you want. See, this is what Tony Robbins calls um, sensory acuity. Always be evaluating on a consistent basis where you are in the process of achieving your dreams. And that sensory acuity, being aware of what's happening to you, around you, through you. Don't wait until you've become something you don't want to become. Don't wait, wait until you've already paid a price that you realize was too much. The important thing to understand is that you may be in the pursuit of something you desperately want. And if you are consistently being aware of who you are becoming or the price that you are paying to achieve this dream, at some point you have to say, do I still want this dream? Do I still want to reach this goal? Is this the right season of life? And gosh, it, it, I can tell you, this is the, probably one of the most challenging things on the journey 
because some of those thoughts can be self-limiting beliefs that are holding you back, drawing you back to what's comfortable. But at the same time, the reality is, hey, my kids, this is the last few years that I have with them. Do I really wanna shake things up right now? And do I wanna pay this ultimate price? Here's the thing. Many times, we have this thing that we want. And we have these beliefs about what it would take to get this. And in our mind, we come up with some ideas, some actions that we can take for the attainment of this. And we start doing those actions and we are seeing results. We are evaluating each day, each week, each month, each year. Yes, we are definitely making progress. But in that progress, in that journey, are we consistently being aware of who we're becoming? Are we becoming more of who we feel like we were called to be? Or are we paying a price that goes against our integrity, our character, our values? And the question is, sometimes maybe we're seeing progress based upon the actions that we're seeing. The question is, are there different actions that we could potentially be taking that would get us the result at a much lower price, at a much lower cost? Can we become even more? Maybe we're gonna change, no matter what, to pursue something different, I think we're gonna have to change. But the question is, are we gonna change into more of who we feel called to become in this world? Or are we in danger of becoming something we never intended? Are we in danger of losing some of who we are? Like, so, so, supposed to be, okay? So this is where it's important to understand the process of role modeling. And I'm now leaving the Jim Rome material and coming up with some of the other stuff that I've picked up and learned along the way. But the question is, is is there a different method of attaining this for those good purposes, for those good reasons of why we want what we want? And can we achieve it with less of a sacrifice of our time, effort, and energy that pulls us away from other things that are important in our lives? The principle here is be aware of who you are becoming in pursuit of what you want. Don't lose sight of that. Not just, our, am I getting closer to what I want? Because we don't want to get whatever we want at any cost. Because some things that we want, we can achieve practically anything, but at what cost? And many times, there are other ways to get what we want that will allow us to pay a much lower price to get it. And in the process of doing it in a more economic fashion or in a way that other people have shown us a pathway to get there. Somebody else who has already achieved what it is, success in an area that we want to achieve success. And they've learned through the school of hard knocks what cost them way too much, only to realize later that they could have had it if they would have just done this instead and save them so much pain, heartache, and suffering through the process. That's why I created Free the Dream Conference. It's that whole process of, man, if I only knew then what I know now, wow, how life would have been different. How many, how many regrets could I have avoided in that earlier stage of my journey? That's what I'm gonna be teaching at Free the Dream. That's what my speakers that I've invited to come share the stage at Free the Dream are gonna be teaching. And it's what you'll be picking up and learning through the process. So yeah, that's my thought today as I was watching this Jim Rohn material. And uh, look forward to seeing some of you in Franklin, Tennessee on September 7th, 8th, and 9th, 2018. Free the Dream .live. Free the Dream.live. I look forward to seeing you there. Talk to you soon. Bye.